Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the number one question we are asked, which is, drum roll please. How much does your bus cost? So here it is. Hey darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Obviously everyone's bill is going to be different Spend as much or as little as you want This is just how we've done it And we will try our best to link everything below in the description So the main category I guess, the foundation of this tiny house is it the bus itself? <laughs> so we found our bus on eBay. Which sounds a little bit sketchy, but we actually were able to go look at the bus before we purchased it. So we ended up looking at like five or four buses, but all of them had like a lot of rust because where we live it's like quite snowy and there's always salt on the roads or whatever. But then we came across this bus and there was a little bit of rust but nothing crazy. It needed new tires, so that was something to take into consideration. So the guy initially wanted 3500 for it, but because of the tires and stuff, we actually got down to 3,000. So that's how much we paid for the bus itself, 3,000 doll hairs. So as Jamie was just saying, when we purchased the bus, we knew that it needed all new tires. We did not, however, know about the brakes. So we did have to take it into a shop to get all new brakes and all new tires, which ended up hurting us a little bit more than we expected. Um, but all in all, we ended up paying 2,300 for new tires and 2,700 for new brakes. I mean, it had to be done. It obviously hurt. It hurts still to say that we spent five grand on that, but you know what? Better to do it now. So in the whole category, you got the bus, which is 3,000, tires and brakes, which is 5,000. Then there was a few like other miscellaneous stuff Bits like engine coolant and whatever. So the total for that was $8,174. So the next category was our roof raise. Obviously, this is definitely optional when you're building out a schoolie, but we're very tall people, so there was no choice for us but to do a roof raise. This includes the custom hat channels, all of the sheet metal. Um, we picked up a lot of that from different metal yards and things like that. And we actually ended up reusing some of the metal from the inside when we uh, took that out for the outside as well. So that saved us a little bit of money. The grand total for the roof raise was $1,203 to be exact. The next category is tools. We actually didn't have many tools to begin with, so we did have to purchase quite a few different tools. Um, our total ended up being around $545. Which isn't too bad, I don't think. We also had like a lot of stuff just like laying around, like from my dad, parents. And Shout whatever. out to you, dad. Thanks. <laughs> so the next category to probably talk about is electrical. So we went with the off-grid setups. We have got solar. We can also plug in solar. In this sense, is pretty much all of the electrical, I guess. Um, so we have three 175 watt panels on the roof. We've got an inverter. Obviously, you've got all your batteries. Uh, your charge controller, all your wires for your sockets, so your outlets, your breaker box. So all in all, this was 3,600. If you weren't doing solar, it would be way, way cheaper. If you were just doing like a normal RV hookup, just plugging into a 30 amp socket or whatever. It was definitely important for us to be off grid, so it was a must. So the next category is the exterior paint job. So on the roof, there's Henry's Tropical, and then we sprayed a base coat on the whole outside. I think that paint was from like Tractor Supply or something. And then we spray painted our design on top of that. And it actually made it so that the spray paint has stood on really well, um, having that base coat and then the spray paint. So all in all, for the exterior paint, we ended up spending $310. I'm pretty happy with that. Like, yeah. Of how it's turned out, for $310, bucks, I think we did a... I think we did a smashing job. <laughs> Next category is plumbing. So we've got a 100 gallon freshwater tank. We've got like a... 80 gallon grey water tank. There's nothing too complex about plumbing, like expense wise. I guess the main expense here was probably our water heater. This was 550 bucks. Next to that, it was probably like the, the actual water tanks themselves. They were like 200 or 300 each. 
our total plumbing was 1,556 bucks. Our next category is insulation, and for insulation we ended up going with the spray foam. So it ended up being just $765 to insulate this entire bus, which we didn't think was too bad. The next topic we're going to talk about is the roof deck. For this, obviously just the wood and the paint and all of the, the screws and all that fun stuff. So the total cost for the roof deck ended up being $620. So this was probably like our biggest category like that we've kind of just clumped everything in is materials. So this includes like tile, paint, all the lumber, so like the wall panels, the skylight materials that were used, like all the trim, the baseboards, the ropes that we used. Just all the miscellaneous stuff we kind of just clumped together into one big category because you'd be here for hours if we separated it all out. So the total for this was $6,079. Next one to talk about is appliances. This is like a uh, oven. This has got a hob and an oven. That was 400 bucks. Then we got like eBay. It had like a little dent in the back, so it was a little bit cheaper. Also an appliance with the Max fan, that was 350 bucks. A wood burning stove. All in all, that came 550 bucks. Which was a lot cheaper than a lot of the ones that we saw. Our propane setup, all in all, was 220 bucks. So the way we got it set up is we have two 20 pound tanks under the bus and that supplies the propane for the, the cooking stove and the hot water heater. And by far the most expensive thing in this category was the toilet. The total for the nature's head toilet was $900. That's a lot. That's an expensive poo. <laughs> We've not actually used it yet, so I'm interested to see if it really is worth its money. So all in all, this came to $2,703. Very specific, I know. <laughs> Do you want to be in the video? No. So the next category is finishes. This includes things like the bar stools that we're currently sitting on, the hanging chair, dishes, plates, a lot of the things we got at IKEA, our mattress, bedding, all that good stuff, and the total for that ended up being $903. So the grand total for everything on the bus that we talked about today is, please drum roll everyone, bus. <laughs> so the total is $26,458. Um, obviously there was a few things that we didn't plan for. Uh, we were hoping to stay in like the $20,000 range went a teeny bit over. The but thing that definitely killed us was like the new tires, new brakes. Together that was like 5,000 bucks right there. So in the description below we'll put a link directly to the spreadsheet where it actually outlines all the details and specifics of everything. If we went into detail about everything we'd probably bore half of you guys half to death. So. We don't want to do that to you guys and we just want to give you the information that you're looking for. Let us know below in the comments if you have any other questions regarding specifics of things. We would be happy to get in the comments and, and answer any questions that you guys have. Um, let us know what you think. Bye everyone! Bye! Hey guys, how was it going? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Serious face. My game face on. Hello! Can you say it? I'll start, I'll start. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey guys! So this. <laughs> how is that funny? <laughs> okay, fine. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Jamie. It's gonna smell now, it's gonna hit me in the face. Sorry.